multi-talented artist who achieved international acclaim with major exhibitions in Europe, Asia and the United States of America. His works of art are now in museums and private collections around the world, including the Smithsonian Institution and the Philadelphia Museum. It's a full house, a sea of heads, all anxious to see these works done by contemporary artists. After an intensive artist in residency program with Art House Foundation, Victor Ekbuk exhibits the fruit of all that labor at the space Lagos. What inspired the exhibition was my um, coming home for the first time in 10 years to do an exhibition where I actually come to stay and make the work based on my experience of home, so to speak, because I've, I haven't lived here in uh, more than a decade. For the artist who lives in the United States, Nigeria is home, and home feeds his imagination. It has served him all he needs for this show. The idea of how people use the head, what goes on inside and outside it, interpreting it with inscriptions, the Uli and Nsibidi designs, which are traditional designs drawn by the Igbo people in southeast Nigeria. What I'm doing with the series of work called Head is uh, the African uh, concept of Head as that which predisposes our destiny. So when coming back home, I was struck by women, you know, people carrying things on their heads. And I saw that as a metaphor for a much more general human condition, where we always carry things you know, on our heads. Wonder that blue blood is here, the OB of furniture, Igwe Alfred Achebe, who is a lover of the art, is among the distinguished guests who have come to enjoy these works of art. He's an artist who has made use of uh, Uli symbolism and Nsibidi, um, poetic lines um, full of symbols, uh, full of um, uh, motifs, and uh, sometimes irregular shapes. You know, some of the works do not have the conventional four corners. Some of them are rounded, some of them have oblong shape, they have all sorts of shapes. It's, it's, a, very, it's a different dimension you know, to uh, what you will normally see. Uh, so uh, sometimes it takes a while to get used to his works. You know, because we are confronted with symbols which sometimes he has to decipher. This fascination for the head is seen in about nine series done on acrylic on wood and on metal intriguing works. You can tell what it's about just by looking at it keenly. When you look at the works overall, you can get the beauty, you can get the message, you can feel, you know, uh, his direction. And, um, you know, I always say that um, when an artist has a focus and he has a vision and he follows his vision, it enables the public to try to key in 
into his vision and that propels him to do more work. For this series of work, I decided to tease sculpture, you know, by making works that are sculptural, by cutting out shapes from, from, from plywoods and painting on them. The metal bending and crafting saw him work with a sculptor to achieve this, better appreciated in the Icon series, which is shaped like a human form with exaggerated eyes, painted mouth, and a few other body parts symbolically represented. The vibrant colors blended with designs done with black make it stand out. Unlike my other lines where they are just one line doing things, I'm doing layers and layers of lines trying to uh, I guess express how in Lagos the chaos and you know we are people living on top of each other. And I've got in the center of that piece is the yellow keke nepad, which is all over the place. It's pretty much a symbol of Lagos. So which is why I said this is Lagos. The audience feels satisfied after feeding their eyes. Victor's work is um, imaginative. He uses a lot of his feeling when he's making his work, uh, there's stuff that's not conventional about it. So he will do things very um, creatively. He will use uh, color and line in a way that is very spontaneous. And it's, it's got rhythm, nice colors. Uh, it stands out and a very exciting type of art. The artist admits that the time spent at the Art House Foundation was a refreshing experience, an opportunity to tap into the ideas exhibited in this space. And these are your works of art. We have some girl power this week on Facebook, The review is a bead painting by Chiso Mukeke featuring at the Affordable Art Show which was taking place at My Dream Gallery. Yetunde has three works of art here. The first one is Kore Dancers, Dawn in Embroidery a mixed media on canvas. The next, Fetch Me Water, bead on strawboard. Last one is the performer done with thread on canvas. Binga adds some testosterone to the flow with rhythmic web done with oil on board. Twitter at Beg Shums writes beautiful artwork, probably referring to the affordable art show at My Dream, which we featured last week. <music> <music> 